Hello everybody and welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I'm so glad to have you guys tuning into our channel today. Today we're going to be making an elegant blue and silver Christmas holiday um, swag design. So I'm super excited about this tutorial. Um, before we get started and um, dive right in, let's go over some of the supplies that we're going to be using today. Okay, we are going to be using this 32 inch um, Savannah Pine swag base. It is nice and full with different uh, types of greenery in here, so I do not need to use two. I'm just going to be using this one swag base. We are going to be going in with this beautiful um, dark blue velvet ferris silk one inch ribbon. We're going to be pulling in some of these gorgeous blue poinsettia um, flowers that we have. I'm going to be using, oops, just drop that right on the floor. We're going to be using the silver star ornaments. You can use whatever ornaments you have. If you just have some silver ball ornaments, those would work um, just as well. I just don't have any, so I'm going to use my star. We're going to be going in with our beautiful blue um, spray, glitter spray, and our silver leaf spray. And for greenery, we're just going to be using a flocked pine, and I brought in our snowy mint um, bush. So those are the products. I think I got everything. Those are the products that we're going to be using today in this design. So keep watching, and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so we are ready to go. I have already given our um, teardrop swag base a little bit of a fluff. And I think the first thing we're going to do is get our bow added. So sometimes the question is what comes first, right? Do we do greenery first or do we do the bow first? And the answer is it really just depends. There is, there is no, you know, one way is the only way. Um, and it varies on the design uh, as to what I do first. Um, but in this case, I want to get our bow going and then we'll anchor our bow with some of our greenery. So I'm using this one inch. Um, I've really been loving the one inch. I think it just really stands out. Of course, I love my four inch. I always will. Um, but I think it gives it a really elegant look when you use this, um, the one inch. And I want a really long tail here. So I hope I have enough of this ribbon to do what we want to do. And I am just going to start making some loops. My first loop, I will measure for you guys. We're going to get larger as we go up. And I really hope I have enough of this ribbon. We're going to find out, right? So the first loop is about, about seven inches. This is a large swag, so we want nice big leaps. And I'm going to go up about, about an inch, about an inch. So I'm just twisting. And going up about an inch. do because I don't know let's see if I have enough to do one more loop I don't know if I do I don't think I'm gonna have enough to do no I'm not gonna have enough to do another loop so we're just gonna do a six six loops three three up three down um, because I don't have enough of the ribbon to do another loop otherwise I would have done a four and a two so if you've got a full roll of ribbon you can do four loops up top and three on the bottom. Um, I do not have enough of the ribbon, so we're just going to do um, three and three. I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner and wrap that around. And I should look for a blue pipe cleaner, but I don't have one, so we're just going to use what I have, and we're going to hide it. We're going to hide our mechanics with our... Um, with our greenery anyway. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna get a floral pick. And I'm just gonna wrap, wrap this pipe cleaner right around that pick. Wrap the little wire around. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit that with some glue. I'm not going right in the center. I'm kind of going to the to the right just a little bit, just a little off center. And I'm going to let that sit there and do its thing for a minute, and we will be right back. Okay, so we have our, our bow in there. The glue is set for just a second. I'm still not going to mess with it too much because I really want it to, to dry. We're going to go in and anchor our bow now. And I'm just going to take a couple pieces of the smaller. So when you cut this uh, flocked pine spray up, you're going to get, you can see the size difference here, right? So you're going to get some stems that are longer than the other. I'm going to take the shorter ones, and that's what we're going to use to anchor our bow. Um, if you are new, we go north, south, east, and west around our bow. So I'm going to need four pieces. Okay, and now I'm just gonna hit it with some glue here. I'm gonna go right next to that floral pin, right next to that. Okay, let's go on the top here, we'll go north. I'll lift up my loops right next to that floral pin. That's gonna help elevate our loops and give that some support, that pick that we just did. Okay, I'm gonna go on the side here again, right next to that, right next to that pick. And then right on the bottom. I want my tails nice and flowy and long. So I'm gonna leave them just like that. We can trim them down once we're done. But we've got our, we got our bow. It's getting anchored there with that greenery. And now let's go in with some of our longer pieces and we're gonna start filling this out. I want a piece that's gonna go straight down the middle here. right in the center. Okay. We're just gonna start filling around the sides now with some of our longer pieces. I went ahead and cut up four of these I know for sure we'll use four, we might use more. Um, I'm going up. Once we get to the bottom of our bow, well really, yeah, right in this area, we'll start to kind of angle our stems down. So, but they're going up, side, and then we're gonna start working our way down. Okay, so this is going to go more towards the side as we start to make that transition. Giving them a little bit of a bend. Move these pine cones out of my way here. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna start transitioning down. Okay. Now I'm gonna go more towards underneath, underneath, so more in the center with this one. Right up underneath there, right in the center of our arrangement. Okay, and as we start to kind of we want to keep our shape. So we're going to start transitioning down and we're not, we're not having them out as far as we did at the top because we want to transition down into that nice teardrop shape. So it depends on the design. Sometimes I'll have the bottom a little fuller than, than others, but this one I want to make sure that we keep our Keep our slender figure down at the bottom. And it can be a little tricky sometimes with these swags because as you get to the bottom, there's not as much greenery to work with. So make sure that glue is really hitting that pine um, and then you're not going straight through to the back of your um, swag. Okay, I'm gonna go straight down, straight down the middle to create our little tail here, a little tip of our design, whatever you wanna call it. Now I put brand new glue in my pot and it's a little, I don't know what you call it, it's like thick, okay. So we're gonna go on this, do the same exact thing on this side that I did on that side. So I'll speed this part up, but I'm gonna do exactly what I did here. I'm gonna go around and do on this side, okay? Okay, so I have, uh, I went ahead and cut up one more of these and I have two pieces left. I put one right next to our bow here, right in the center, and I'm gonna do another one right beside it. Again, that's just helping fill up a row and help hide our mechanics. Give that one a little bit of a bend. Okay, so we've got our first greenery added all the way around and a few pieces in the center. So the next thing I wanna do is, um, before we add our other greenery, we're gonna save that for later as, so we can have some filler. I wanna add some of our, our larger um, items, which will be our um, flowers. So I think I already have one fluffed, I do. We're gonna add our poinsettias, and then we'll add our ornaments. Okay, so these are just gorgeous. Love this dark, it's like a dark navy. Midnight blue, I think is what they're called. I'm not exactly sure, but they're gorgeous. So, let's get a couple of these. Where do my clippers go? There we go. I'm gonna cut the stem down shorter. Let's get figure out where we want. So I think I want one here next to our bow. Okay, so I think we're gonna just place one right there. So I'm just gonna hit that. I may bend my stem just a little bit. I want that just growing right in there. Just like that. 
beautiful. All right. So I gave my stem just a tiny bit of a bend. Just so I can get it angled where I want it. I want this greenery just growing through. This is just part of our design here. Beautiful. And gorgeous. Okay, let's get another one. So I think I brought five of these. I don't know if we're gonna use all five. We will for sure use three, um, but we'll see. This is a larger swag, so we may end up using more than three. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one shorter. And let's figure out the placement of our next one. I think we're gonna go on this side. Again, I'm going to give my stem a little bit of a bend. I'm going to go right in there. Right next to that bow. Let's work these. In, so it's like all part of the design, right? All about blending. Okay, so we've got two. Let's get another one. How many people, let me know in the comments, how many of you guys decorate the holidays with blue holiday decor? I know typically, you know, traditional is red and green. There are a lot of people that do the blue and white, blue and silver, blue and gold. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So let me know in the comments if you're one that decorates with the blue Christmas. Okay, I think we're going to put this one right there. They are typically good sellers every year. They sell quite a few blue holiday decor items. Okay. Let's get another one. I think we're gonna go sort of right in here. Now I'm using, I'm just using glue, but you can take that pine, a pine branch and wrap around the, and wrap around the stem of that if you want a little bit extra security. I add a lot of glue to my stems, so I am not worried about it coming off, but you definitely can. Okay, so we have four, and it's looking pretty good. Typically I work in odd numbers, but, um, This doesn't look bad with four, but I'm wondering if I want to put one more right at the very top. Let me just see. It throws me off when I'm not working in odd. But you definitely don't have to. There is no rule. There is no rule. You can do however many as you want. I mean, when it comes to floral designing, you're the designer, right? So whatever you think is pretty, you go with it. But I think I might want to add one more. It's going to be a nice full design. Yes, I think I'm going to add one right here. I'm going to add one right up towards the top. Now this one I might go ahead and wrap those pine around the stem. I'm just going to push that into sort of the spine of this swag. Okay, 
And then I'll hit it with my glue in there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So we have a lot of blue going on here, which is beautiful. But let's add our silver ornaments and break this up a little bit. Now, if I would have had just the red um, ball ornaments, I would have definitely used those. But and I thought I did, but I must have used them for design because I did not see them up there. And that is one thing I don't think I bought for the shop this year was silver ornaments. So, I had these silver star ornaments, so we're just going to use them. So, we're going to get them tucked in. So, I think we're going to do one sort of right in there. So I'm going to tuck one in right there. Now this does have a little ornament hook on it. So you can take and wire these in. Um, which I might do. These are a little heavier ornaments. So just to make sure it's going to stay put. Let me get a little bit of wire. Uh, these got a little bit of weight to them. So. We will just tie it, tie it around our base and then we'll add some glue just for extra security since I do sell these pieces. Okay, so I'm going to get this wire and just wrap it around the spine of this and then we'll add our glue. And now I'm going to add my glue. our first one. So I got one here. I think I'm going to go one right here. I have a little bit of a pull. It's going to go right in this little area here. Right where we have this little pocket. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay. I finally got that one added. Now I think our next one is going to go up here here in this area. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to tie that in right here and we will be right back. Okay, so we have our ornaments in place. They are tied in and they are glued. We will also give them some support with our second greenery that we are going to add. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are going to start adding our um, snowy mint bush. I have already cut some of these up and we're going to start getting these added. Now, some of these longer pieces, we're going to keep for the top and a little bit of the sides, and then we will cut some of them in half as we need to. Okay, so I'm going to start getting some of these added. We want to make sure we're staying with our perimeter. We're not going too far outside. I think that one will be okay right there. I'm just going to hit that with some glue so I don't have to pull it back out. So we'll do a few of these together and then I will fast forward so you don't have to watch me do the exact same thing over and over. But we're going to start just going all the way around the outside and then we'll fill in some in the center. When we get back to the center part, I'll come back. Let me just do a few of the side pieces and then we will speed this part up. So you can see this is a shorter piece because I, I want to start, you know, staying with the shape. So I don't want it too long. So if we need to, we will cut them down. Now this one I'm going to go more towards the center so I can leave it a little bit longer. Because I'm going to go right up underneath that star ornament more towards the center so that it's still staying in line with our edge here. Okay, and I'm just 
this one. We're going to go right up underneath. So adding this additional greenery with that glue is going to also help hold our ornaments in. Try to be careful with my tail so I don't get glue on them. And I'll fold the, the ends of our tails up here in a minute. Okay, so you guys can see, you get the gist. Just going all the way around the outside, making sure that I'm staying consistent with, we're gonna start getting shorter as we go down towards the bottom. So stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we have gone all the way around. I did have to grab one more of these bushes, so we're on number three. Um, again, scale up, scale down. You could definitely space these out a little bit further than I did, and you could get away with two. Um, we're going to start adding a few now in the center of our design. So I'm going to put one kind of right up there by the bow. And y'all, I'm going to do my, my PSA that I've been having to do. Um, these are large swag designs. With the larger swags, it is very difficult to keep you guys in camera view where you can see exactly what we're doing. If I do a front facing view, you can see the whole thing, but you really can't see what we're doing. So I'm doing my best to keep you guys um, in view of what it is that we're doing, but you may not see the exact, um, the whole, the whole thing. Does that make sense? I'm doing my best, y'all. I wish I was a Hollywood film director and we'd have some awesome videos, right? But I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna go right up around the bow with that one. And so we cannot even see our mechanics anymore. Um, we don't even see that pipe cleaner. Our bow is just, it's just all growing with our florals. Now, before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and just Fold the ends of my tails up just so I don't forget to clean them up. And y'all believe it or not, just a little um, tidbit. I actually have a good friend who is a Hollywood film director. And um, we have partnered with him and worked on a project together. And I would love if he was close by, he could give me some tips on how to do this. Um, but of course, you know, he's all got all the fancy equipment that I don't have. But wouldn't that be nice? That would be so nice. Okay, moving on, enough with that. Let's add our picks and sprays. Our last little thing, we're gonna add our, our bling to this. Now this is gorgeous just like it is. You could totally stop here. If you don't want the extra bling, it's beautiful. But if you guys have watched my designs, you know that I like more and more. And so we're gonna add these. But again, it's optional. So I'm gonna cut up some of our blue these are our dark blue. We've got them in more of a royal blue too. Not exactly the same spray, but we do have blue um, blue sprays that are a little bit more of a royal blue. This is the dark blue. I don't know if they call it midnight blue or if they call it navy. I can't remember. We have so much, so many things in the shop that I don't always remember the names, but this is the darker blue. So if you are looking, and I will list in the description, as always, a supply list. Um, but if you're just browsing our shop, these are the darker ones. So I'm gonna cut up two. I think two is all we're gonna need because we have the silver ones we're gonna add to. Okay, so we're just gonna start the exact same thing we did with the snowy mint bush. We're just gonna start going all the way around the outside and then we'll come back to the center and start adding these sprays. I will do a few with you guys and then we'll speed this part up just so you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over. Okay now I don't mind our sprays to come out just a little bit further than our greenery. Um, 
These are like our wow pieces, our little flyaways. And so they can come out a little bit. So we're just gonna start going all the way around. And we will come back with the silver ones and kind of go in between. So you can space these out just a little bit because we are gonna have the silver sprays that we're gonna be adding as well. Now on the sides, I do want to make sure I'm going in just a little bit more because we want to keep our teardrop shape. Okay, we'll do maybe one or two more and then I will speed this up and come back. So keep watching. Okay, I've gone all the way around the outside. Got a couple pieces left, so let's get some more towards the center of our design. I'm gonna go right underneath that little poins poinsettia flower. I'm going in the center now. We've gone around the outside. We're doing some towards the center. I'm gonna go right in here. We wanna create that dimension. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go right underneath that loop there. Gorgeous. Okay, so again, you could stop here, beautiful, but we're gonna add some silver. We're gonna break up that blue a little bit more and we're gonna add some of our silver sprays. So I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up at least two. We may need three, but let's start with two. Okay, so I have two. We probably are gonna need at least three, but let's, Start with the two, and we're gonna do the same thing we did with the blue, kind of in between the blue ones. We're gonna add the silver ones. We're gonna start on the outside, and then we will work our way towards the center. If you need more stem on these, just take off the bottom two leaves. So again, I'll do a couple with you guys, and then we'll speed this part up but I'm going in between the blue and we're adding the silver okay and I'm again being mindful with the perimeter I'm not having my sprays come way out here they're staying close to the arrangement they are going to be our Furthest point, our sprays will be our our furthest, um, so they will stick out a little bit more than the green, greenery, but they're not, you know, way over here doing a solo dance, okay? And again, I'm going in between the blues. We're adding the silver. And as I get towards the bottom, I'm going to use the smaller pieces. Okay, so I'm going to finish going around the outside and then we'll come back and we'll do the center together. Okay, I've gone all the way around the outside. I did go ahead and have to cut up part of another one. So we're at about, uh, we'll probably use three. Two and a half to three. Again, space. Space it accordingly to what your budget is. Um, I'm gonna start going, some, putting some of these towards the center now. Let me look at it from this way. I've been looking at it from the side, so. And I think we're gonna add a piece or some, maybe a piece of greenery oh, under here to kind of help hold our tails up a little bit. 
Well, let's focus on one thing at a time. Focus, Melissa, focus. Y'all, my ADD kicks in sometimes. I've got it bad. Okay. And I put a piece right there in the middle of our bow. I'm going straight down. Y'all, this is large and beautiful. If I do so say, if I do so say myself, whatever that phrase is, y'all know what I'm talking about. If I do say so, I do say so myself. Can't even speak, y'all know I can't speak. My words get twisted sometimes. Okay, so I've filled the center in pretty good. Let's go, got one more piece. Let's go right up under here. Gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a piece. I'm gonna get a piece of pine. Do I have a scrap piece? I do not. So I'm just gonna take one from my from another bush. Again, this is just me being extra, so you don't have to break up another bush if you don't want to. And I probably won't, I won't charge my customer for another bush. I'll just, cause normally I have scraps, right? I just don't have a scrap piece laid around. So I won't charge them for this one piece, but I'm going straight down, kind of giving that a bend and that's going to help give our little tails. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see. Let me. So I gave this little piece of greenery and I probably should have used one of the longer pieces, um, but that'll work. So with that piece of greenery, I gave it a little bit of a bend and now my tails just kind of sit on that and it gives that um, a place to kind of hang. So when it's up, our tails will have a, have some movement there. Okay, y'all, we have finished with our gorgeous large blue and silver swag design. Let's see if I can get it all in view for you guys. I will hang it up and um, take a picture for you guys so that you can see the finished product, but I think it turned out just beautiful. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. So if you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. We love to do all things seasonal home decor, wreaths, swag, centerpieces, floral arrangements, all the things. So we would love to have you subscribe. Um, for those of you that continue to come back, I appreciate your support so much. You do not even know how much that support means. Give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think. Until next time, bye y'all.